welcome back to my channel. We are doing more crafts today. I have three crafts for you um, today. I hope they all turn out okay. They are gonna be using pom-poms. I got these gorgeous beauties from um, Amazon. And um, I've got, like I said, three different little projects to do. I wanted to um, incorporate some more pom-pom um, type um, decor pieces into my pink and green Christmas. And um, I just really couldn't find anything that I liked, so I decided to make my own. So come along with me as I do these fun little pom-pom crafts. Okay, so let's just jump right into it. For this first craft, I um, want to make a sign to go over by my little um, cozy corner, um, my little tea cart area. So um, I had a bunch of these that I got from the Target Dollar Spot last fall, I think. Um, they're just little boards. I guess they were meant for cocktails, but I don't know how you were supposed to write on this because it's not like chalkboard or what. I don't know. Anyway, um, I thought when I bought these that I would have um, my husband cut this, like cut the wood, just cut that off and I could use it for whatever. But I got to thinking, why not just paint over top of it with um, chalkboard paint? So that's what I did. This is three coats of chalkboard paint here. Now I need to um, treat it, I guess is what they call it. So I need to go over it with some white chalk just like this this is step is supposed to help with um like once you write on it then you'll be able to um erase it so get that on there let me see i used this chalk that i had on hand um not sure where it is from probably amazon there we go um, Americana chalk paint. Let's see. Um, I'm going to treat it lightly rub chalk over the surface. Um, and let cure. Okay, so I've done that. Now let's just wipe this off. I'm making a huge mess, but that's okay. I'm down here in my little craft area. Yeah. So far, so good. Get that done. Let's see here now. What I'm going to do with this sign is write joy on it. Um, so I want to write the J and the O in um, chalk. And then I want to put pom-poms for the O. So I'm gonna get a little bucket here and dump my pom-poms out since we're gonna be using these for multiple crafts. I wanna be able to see what all I have here. Um, yeah, I will put the link below for um, the Amazon link below, but these are just so nice. I did some projects a while back with the wool, um, pom-pom balls and these are really nice compared to those and they were way cheaper so I think I want to use this this size here because I'm I'm not quite sure I know I want it to stand up this way kind of in the back there behind my reindeer which I'll show you where I put it when I get done but um Let's see, so I think I, either I'll put J, Y, or straight down, we'll see, but either way, the O is going to go in the middle, so I'm just going to get to working on finding the um, little pom-poms that I want to use. I'm probably just going to stick with pinks and greens and maybe some of this teal color, if I can find it in that size that I'm working with here, so I'll just get going on this. Okay, so I think I kind of have the colors I want to work with, my pinks and greens and a little bit of teal and this kind of um, magenta color. 
So I'm just going to kind of wipe this. Kind of find the middle and that will be kind of the middle where I put my O. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, I'm just going to kind of start here. I think I'll do... I have several different shades of pinks and greens. Um, let's do this. We need that green and then start over. Yeah, I like that. So there's my O. Oh, I think it looks great. I hope that this glue dries white. I think, I mean, dries clear. I think that it will. Um, but what I had in mind, what did I do with my chalk? Did I put it back in here? It's just somehow um, doing a cute sort of Kind of something along these lines. I will probably erase and redo this a hundred times, but for the sake of showing y'all what I had in mind, um, something like this, or um, it's the beauty of the chalkboard. Looks like my um, treating of it worked too, so that's good. Um, maybe I'll just stick with non-cursive letters. I might be. <sighs> just something like that is what I had in mind. So when I get it in place and you kind of can see where I um, am going to have it, maybe you'll get a better idea. But for now, I think that is so cute. I love it. Okay, on to the next project. Okay, my next project is little trees. I wanted some little um, pom-pom trees to put over in that same little cozy corner in my three-tiered tray. And I looked them up on Etsy and they were quite expensive and not exactly what I was looking for. So I grabbed some of these on Amazon, just some little cones along with the pom-poms I already bought for the other projects. Um, in hopes that I can um, make my own little pom-pom trees. So I am just gonna take these, I'm gonna pick the colors that I want and the sizes that I want, and I am just gonna go around and around starting at the bottom and use my uh, E6000 and just go all the way around till I get to the top. And hopefully we'll have two cute little trees.
Okay guys, here is my little um, Whoville <laughs> inspired whimsical pom-pom tree. I think it turned out so cute. I love it. Actually, if truth be told, I did not get to finish the bag. I just, they just didn't have all the colors I needed um, in that big bag. I could have used some bigger ones, um, but I really just wanted to stick to the small, medium, and large ones in these colors so um where i'm going to display this is not going to be showing the back anyway so i think for now for this year unless i just grab another bag or get a bag of um the colors that i want to use this is going to be perfect i think it's going to look so cute over on my little cozy corner by the sign i just made um i just think it is precious so i'm going to let this dry and then um start my next little pom-pom craft okay Let's get started on this last craft. This one is probably the easiest of all. Um, I just have this beautiful bottle brush tree that I got at uh, probably TJ Maxx or Marshalls a couple years ago. And I love it. It's kind of a cream colored snow sparkly color. But um, I don't have much of this color in my decor and I wanted to jazz it up. So I thought why not get some of these cute little pom pom balls. Don't mind the glue on my hands, but um, these cute little sparkly pom-pom balls that came in the big bag and just put them right in the bottle brush. I think that is going to be so cute. I am going to glue them in just so that I can have it for every year, but I have my greens and my pinks down here and I'm just going to get to work. Okay, that came together super quickly. I just used a little dab of E6000 um, on the backs and just stuck them in. I think it is just precious. I loved how it turned out. Cute, cute, cute. Well, that is it. That is my little pom-pom crafts. I think they turned out so precious. I love the colors in this one and my little joy sign. And then the easiest of all was this little guy. If you're ever wanting to just jazz up a plain bottle brush tree, what a cute idea. And you could use um, any pom-poms you want and not just the sparkle ones. You could um, choose your color scheme and just kind of go with whatever you liked. So thanks so much for joining me today. I have lots more crafts on the way. So subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a thing. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.